We're live? We're live. We're live. Hey everybody, it's Tuesday at noon, so here I am, Keely, reporting live from Silva with a Kiss. We're in the middle of spring, second quarter, probably the most boring time to be at the yarn shop, for us at least, maybe not for you, but it's usually pretty quiet second quarter, been that way for what, 29 years? Just how it goes. Um, but that doesn't mean we're not busy, Jeannie and I are super busy, super busy working on stuff for you. First of all, as you know, we have our New York event starting on Saturday. Saturday's the day to come because that's the first day of the trunk show from Ba. They're sending in their New York yarn, all different colors, and uh, we have a big event that day. The trunk show will be on display all the way through the 28th, so if you can't come next Saturday, you can still come. I'm sure we'll have plenty of yarn for you. But the reason you want to come next Saturday is because we're going to have a whole party, an event, fashion show, and you can be a VIP and get a little VIP package that has a skein of yarn of the New York, which you get to pick the color. We'll let you pick it. And stitch markers and flare and all sorts of stuff. Plus the design, we have a special pattern that we designed just for the event with the New York from yarn from Ba. We're calling it Starlet. It is a half star shaped shawl. I don't know if you've ever made a half star before, but it is really fun to do, isn't it, Jeannie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she and I have been working on this. I kind of made little odd misshapen strange triangles and stuff and then she went with it and we made it into something mine looks really bad Jeannie's looks really good well mine was the figuring it all out one I never get to make the pretty one Jeannie got to make the pretty one and just for fun we thought it'd be fun to edge it with beads and we even made our own beaded button to button it with you could button or shawl pin or if you want to get a second skate you can make a bigger size shawl too but it was a lot of fun to do so that's what's coming up for the New York party it's sat next Saturday, not this Saturday, next Saturday, it's 21st. So mark your calendar. Be here through the 28th. In there, 28th, yeah, 21st to 28th. Other than that, this is the time you're not a lot of stuff's coming in, but Jeannie and I have been really, really super busy working on crochet design. We had started working on designs for fall, last fall, last, well, I guess for fall during the last fall, but there was no way we could get them done. We were too busy. And we'll come up here. I'll show you what we did for spring. We were way too busy. I don't know what we were so busy doing. Do you? I don't remember. I just we were too busy. Every time we try to work on it, we'd have to work on something else. Well, you know, we were working on classes. We got our classes mm -hmm. going. That's part of it. We're just going to blame classes. We were too busy. So we're, so we're now putting a pin in it. We're going to do them for next fall. But in the meantime, if you know if you saw our spring designs we launched last year, we have gone crazy making crochet designs. Um, the thing with crochet, and I know I'm speaking as a knitter, is the things that you make are usually shapeless. Shawls, blankets, and boxy sweaters. I don't like those things. I don't want to make those things. And so our goal was, let's make things that are crocheted that are equally as awesome as the knit stuff. And that means throwing shaping in. Um, and that brings a whole other, oh, yeah, headache to it. But it's okay. The thing is, is it might be a headache for you, not, you know, it's a headache for us, not for you. A big headache for us, we make these patterns so that you can do it. They're super doable patterns, regardless of your skill level. This is the one of the dresses we did last year, which is just a bunch of fun squares, and we do, actually do shape it uh, through how they're joined. Again, not hard. This is one of our favorite pieces we did last spring, the chevron dress. Remember how many times you made chevrons, Jeannie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lots of times. Yeah, because shaping chevrons is not easy to do, but we did it. And this is, again, very, that pattern is super easy to make. And it, mm -hmm. you didn't need to be a great crocheter. You know, you barely crochet, you can make this dress. What else did we do last spring? They're all over here. Oh, this one, of course, anybody makes. It just has a little shaping on the edge. I couldn't just do a rectangle, y'all. I mean, come on. That's why we don't want to do crochet. This is the one that Jeannie did how many times? Oh, my land's probably close to 50 times. We 50 that times. One. I saw this little stitch pattern with this little flower in it and a stitch dictionary, a bad stitch dictionary of that. And the instructions were horrible. I took my stab at it and I didn't have the patience. I said, Jeannie, your turn. I don't know, it took her a while to figure it out, mm -hmm. how to do it. And then I'm like, great, let's make it a yoke and let's shape it on top of that. We did it. <laughs> we did it. But again, it's, it's yeah. because we, we wrote the pattern, you can do it. It's not bad stitch dictionary directions. We really try, of course, just a fun, again, more shaping in here. Made a whole, this is seamless, top down with the yoke. Yeah, from a design perspective, mm -hmm. holy cow, I can't believe I did it. From a doing it perspective, not hard. Oh, we pair it with a tank. I've got it here. It's Tunisian because we want to throw some Tunisian in our mix. This is a great first Tunisian pattern. Mm -hmm. Make a little tank, you know, wear it under stuff. It was really fun to do, too. Yeah. And it's real easy. 
it's easy and it's great just to get your feet wet with Tunisian. And then of course we do everything a multiple color way so that way you get an idea. Probably one of the most, and, and we did it for spring because it's with summer light and kids soap, but for us it'd be for fall as this wrap cardigan. We get more compliments on mm -hmm. this. Again, um, something that looks like it was knitted shape-wise, but we did it in crochet. You gonna see what we're working on? We are really working on stuff. Come back to the office where all the fun stuff happens. I've been working on, how long have I been back on these? Really seriously, right, this pattern, about three weeks? Mm, something like that. Yeah, I can still see, I'm only halfway cross-eyed with numbers and crunching. It's crazy what else involved with this. These are the pieces, we've been working on these for a while, but we finally have got the patterns going. You may have seen me kind of quickly refer to them. This one got a piece of clothes in it. But we're working on a coat, a jacket, a cardigan, and again, we do stuff, um, this is seamless, you know, top down, seamless, which seems simple enough to do with the problem with crochet is that you don't have all your stitches on your needle. You don't have little markers in between. You have to mark the stitches. And when you're going, working into these stitches with the shaping, the uh, stitch count and the markers shift. <laughs> Putting off his every row, every other row. It's crazy how they do it. I know Jeannie's working on one now. Where's that one? We're, we're about got it figured out. We've only done this, what, about eight times? Uh, something like that. Well, this isn't this, there's not enough of this to really tell what's going to be yet. This is something that's totally in the works. Well, it started with this stitch pattern that I inadvertently made up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I found it. I'm like, oh, that's cool. We love this stitch pattern. We love it. And then we went back to figure out what we were doing. It didn't match any of the like stitch dictionary stuff because we kind of start with our stitch dictionary, but we don't, it's not that simple. You don't get a stitch dictionary, plop it in a pattern. That's, no, but apparently I, I, I either was intentionally creative and made up my own stitch or I just wasn't reading it carefully and made up my, either way it came, it was really super cool whatever I did. So that was part of the problem is figure out what Keely came mm -hmm. up with. But then trying to shape this, again, it's going to be, we actually decided to go bottom up instead of top down on this one, but it'll still be um, in the round. But the markers, you know, it's the you know, these markers will swirl if you don't shift where you do it. And this one is especially challenging to figure out because the stitch patterns worked over two stitches. So we thought we had it right. We, we always leave our markers on and they're going, we're like, no. Yes, because where you place your shaping very important in Genie. Mm -hmm. So one thing right. I think that's been eye opener, especially, especially if you haven't done design before, and Genie's this is kind of really getting into the design world with me, is that where you shape is important. It's not a matter of changing your stitches, where you put those increases mm -hmm. and decreases. Literally shapes the garment, and if you just throw them willy nilly, you're gonna get something that looks kind of weird, aren't mm -hmm. you, Genie? Exactly. Yeah, but I mean, I can't tell you how much math is involved. Everybody thinks that. Oh, you're working on crochet design. Like we play with yarn and we make stuff. Mm, we make stuff over and over and over. Um, I make stuff. This is the kind of stuff I get to make once I get it going. Here's what I made this morning. I'm like, what are you making? Nothing. I was I was checking the shifting of stitch counts and markers. Yeah, so that's what I get to make. A whole bunch of little weird stuff like that. I have spreadsheets and formulas and numbers. I mean, and this this is how. It happens. It usually starts with a bunch of scribbly notes. I'm surprised about scribbly notes. And then how it starts. Scribbly. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch of scribbly notes, some ideas. Mm -hmm. um, and it's your notes, my notes, and then we put them all together. Well, and then we get busy. Like last yeah. fall, some of these we really haven't worked on in earnest because we really intended to get these fall ones done. And then we get back in. And I'm like, what were we doing? <laughs> Where were we? So we're really having to get our head back into this. And once you do, you really can't stop. That's why I've been a little non-communicative. I know some stuff has popped up. I'm like, mm, take a number, you know, until I get through the end of this, you know, this part of my pattern writing, I just can't look away. Cause you really, I'm back here sometimes with so many numbers and so many addings. I don't even know what I'm adding anymore. Yeah, it gets kind of crazy. So yeah, heavy, heavy math. But the final result we think are patterns that you can do. Um, you know, if I, I really look at things as a knitter, as, you know, Jeannie looks at it from a crocheter. I know I can't reinvent crochet and throw all the crochet people up in a tizzy, but, I, you know, crochet is so verbose. Um, knitting, you can write out most of the pattern for knitting with just abbreviations because everything matches a stitch. With crochet, you have to explain where to do things. And then you have these funny things at the first of the row that are actually count as a stitch. That You know, it's 
shifting markers, how to mark stuff. It gets complicated and it, to me the patterns are difficult to follow a lot of times because you have to kind of infer what they mean. So we've gone to great lengths to make things easy to do, um, add a lot of clarity. We really do just pour over every single word that we use to make it concise but yet clear. And then we also throw in lots of pictures where we think you need one. We figure it all out for you. Heck, on this dress, I mean, the dress I showed you at first with all the squares, you could just go to town making squares in any color, but I know a lot of you are like me, you want to know it, you want it exactly like that. You want your layout to be exactly right. So we've told you how many to make in each color, and then we've come up with these color layouts so that way it will all lay out perfect. You won't have a whole bunch of the same color together. So I've even, you can tell I'm kind of type A and a retentive person, so I, it all flows through, even with charts, with stitch counts, we go overboard. We don't just write a pattern, we, we slay it. So we're really looking forward. I think our fall one is going to kind of come out in two parts. We're going to focus on these that we have done and they've been photographed and you can see previous some of our fabulous photographs from thank you Gail Zucker. Um, so we're going to get these done and out soon and then uh, we're going to tackle the other half and have those hopefully by mid-fall. So that's what we're doing. Lots of lots and lots of adding in numbers. Yeah it's not playing with yarn and color. That 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 part doesn't last long. That's that's fine. Mm -hmm. We do that for what about the first like this blip and then yeah. it's all crocheting and ripping out, crocheting mm -hmm. and ripping out. That's what Jeannie does. Mm -hmm. Rip it out, rip it out, rip it out, rip it out. How many times do you want to make the sweater? 400. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's what crochet design's all really any design's all yeah. about. Okay. Yeah, in fact, I need to write the pattern for our New York theme. Yep, you do. It's laying in this mess over right here. That's in that stack. I, 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 I'm on it. We'll have it before. I just have to look up for my crochet design. That one won't take long to do. That's pretty simple. So I hope you guys are now, you know, interested in making some more crochet stuff that's not rectangular without shaping. We can help you with that. Um, you know, my goal is that it looks so cool that even if you're a knitter and you try to usually don't want to do crochet, you're like, I don't care that it's crochet. I want to make that. So hopefully, you know, we'll inspire you. Take up a hook. Jeannie and I have really been enjoying it because crochet doesn't have to be a boring rectangle, right? That's all right. All right. I don't know what's going on next week. We'll see. I've got some cool stuff coming in, but I don't know if it's going to make it by next Tuesday. If not, we'll see what else has happened around here. There's always something happening in there. There all right. it is. That's it. Bye, y'all.